In the verb agreement, we have done seven rules. The eighth rule says, two or more singular subjects, two or more singular subjects joined by or, nor, neither, nor, either, nor, the verb is always in the singular form. Okay, that's the eighth rule. The eighth rule says, Rule number eight. When two or more singular subjects, two or more, two or more singular subjects singular subjects when two or more singular subjects joined by joined by or nor then either either or neither nor neither nor what happens take a verb take a verb in the a verb in the singular take a verb in the Singular. Look at it carefully. The rule number eight says two or more singular subjects are joined by or nor either or neither nor the it take a verb in the singular form. Okay? That's what we need to remember. Let's look at the examples we have here. First example is neither Deepa nor her brother was there. Singular form of verb. Neither. Neither Deepa nor her brother. Neither Deepa nor her brother was, singular form of verb, was there. Okay? Was there. Okay? Neither Deepa nor her brother was the singular form of verb. Another example. Each of you and she, each of you, oh no, either of you, sorry, either of you, either of you, either of you, okay, or she, or she, either of you, or she. Dash to come early. To come early. Singular form of verb. Come early. Okay. So, either of you, any one of you, or she has to come. Singular form of verb. Has to come early. Okay, one more. 
Example for you. No girl or boy dash crying. No girl or boy. No girl or boy crying. Singular form of verb was crying. Was. No girl or boy was crying. Okay, that's the rule number eight. When two or more singular subjects joined by or or nor, then the verb is always in the singular form. Then the rule number nine. Rule number nine says. The rule number nine says nouns which are plural in form but singular in meaning. Nouns which are plural in form but singular in meaning will take a singular verb. Singular in meaning will take a singular verb. Okay. Now, it says nouns which are Nouns which are plural in form, plural in form, but plural in form, but singular in meaning, but singular. Singular in meaning. Singular in meaning. Take a singular verb. Take a singular verb. Singular verb. And examples we have here are it says nouns which are in plural form but in singular in meaning. Okay, example the news is true. Okay, the news, the news. True. The new, when you talk about news, all kinds of news. So, although it's plural, it's got a singular form of meaning. So, we say the news is. The news is true. Another example mathematics. It's a vast number of topics are there. But collectively we say mathematics. And that's supposed to be plural. But it is singular in meaning. So mathematics is my main subject. So the next uh, example is mathematics. Mathematics is what verb? Singular form of verb. Mathematics is my is my main subject. My main subject. So we have done in the verb agreement with the subject. We have done nine rules. We have a few more. Rules to go through.